For my final Forbidden Light Ultra Beast deck, I have Ultra Necrozma GX. Great when it first launched, Ultra Necrozma kind of faded away when Tag Team showed up, but I'm going to show you why it's worth giving another go. Using Photon Geyser, Ultra Necrozma can do over 300 damage, so long as you have enough basic psychic energy attached to it. And Malamar is the king of attaching basic psychic energy with psychic recharge, you just... Once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic Energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. They work perfectly together, you just need that Metal Energy to attach to it or the Beast Energy. And in addition to taking big knockouts, Ultra Necrozma also has a great GX attack, uh, both in the name and the effect. Sky Scorching Light for a Psychic and a Metal uh, can only be used if the total of both players' remaining prize cards is 6 or less, and you just put 6 damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. So if your opponent has a bunch of Jirachi, you can use Mew or Giratina to put a damage counter on them, and then keep them trapped with Mr. Mime, and then use Sky Scorching Light at the very end to just win the game with either taking you know, two or three knockouts. So that is really good to just finish up a game. And if you watched my previous Ultra Beast video, that clearly was a disaster, but now that Malamar is involved, I'm confident things will turn around. Okay, so this could be a variety of things. Um, if you saw the deck list and you know you're wondering why I'm playing certain cards, you know obviously there's some changes you can make to the deck if you're not trying to film a video focusing on one card. Uh, you know you could go with two Giratina, you could put spell tags in there, you could do a whole bunch of things, and this is just a perfect starting hand. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else I could really ask for. Uh, maybe if this was a psychic energy and not a metal energy. Oh. Okie dokie, that's fine. Uh, there's Mysterious Treasure, I think. Hmm. Do I want two Jirachi on the field is the question. So I really don't have a use for the supporters. Obviously I don't have use for the supporters right now. Uh, sure. I will do that. Maybe I'll get like a scoop up net or something and I'll just scoop up the Jirachi. Uh, there's a switch, there's a quick ball, there's a beast bringer. The beast bringer probably isn't gonna matter here. Uh, just because they have a Zacian V, so I'm gonna try and knock that out. They have a Blacephalon. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I'll just get rid of that. Uh, unfortunately I'm gonna have to Mysterious Treasure the Metal Energy. I'd really like to keep that a secret. But they're gonna know pretty soon. And should I get the Giratina? I really don't want to attack with the Giratina, but I think I might have to, just because Blacephalon has 120 hit points and it can knock out an Ultra Necrozma pretty easily. So I think I'll just hold off on doing some things. And hey, I still have that Metal Energy. Great. So there we go. Pretty good turn one. I don't really like this matchup because it's going to force me to pretty much just use Giratina the entire time, which is unfortunate. I'm just going to get rid of a switch. Hopefully they get like a Jirachi. Perfect. I'm totally going to trap that Jirachi because they play a ton of scoop up net in this deck. They probably play four. So if they bench another Jirachi or something, that's even better. Uh, they're probably just going to Blazer. If they, yeah, if they get two Jirachi, I would be so happy. That's a Dedenne, okay. If they, I really would like it if they put another Jirachi down. And then I'm in a position where I could uh, maybe scoop up the Jirachi, put the Mr. Mime down, and then just have those Jirachis trap the entire game, but it's looking like there might only be the one Jirachi. Which is unfortunate. And hey, there's the Dedenne. Would have been nice to be Springer that thing. Uh, maybe I should have held on to it. But how could I have known that their turn would look like that? Okay, so that's cool. I think that Jirachi's probably gonna get scooped up at some point though. There's an NK. Do I even, oh yeah, I have Ultra and Cross, of course. What am I thinking? Do I have any Ultra Beasts in this deck? Of course. Okay, so Jirachi, what do you got? You got a Switch and a Boss's Orders, well, Guess which one I'm grabbing. I'm not going to be getting... I need to draw some cards, that's for sure. 
What do I got? And I don't got anything. So that's cool. How I had a Cynthia and a Marnie in my first Stellar Wish. I thinned the deck a ton, and now I, I don't get anything. So do I just go and get a Mew? Does a Mew set anything up? Because, yeah, I think a Mew will actually mean something towards the end here. Because if I knock out, because it does, let's see, it does 20 plus 80, so it'll do 180. So yeah, this actually does slightly make sense. Because then when I paint with Giratina, it'll be at 180. So I'm in a position where that can get knocked out. Oh, this is going to be rough. So would I... Is there any way... I mean, if they bench an Oracorio, then I have a chance. But I only play two catcher effects. I play one bosses and one great catcher. So my chances of winning are slim. But if they bench another Jirachi, then I'm just golden. There's Oracorio. Okay. So how do I make my way through this? I have six prizes on their side of the field. I have an Ultra Necrozma. How do I win this? I don't know how this is going to work out. Oh, okay. They have all well, I was like, are they seriously not going to get a knockout this turn? Um, I guess just maybe a late game reset stamp is going to be what wins me this. But I'm going to have to knock out Blacephalon to make that happen. But I guess if I if I pick off the Pokemon around the Blacephalon, they're going to have all that energy in play, and they're going to have to discard energy to knock out Ultra Necrozma. Like they have to knock out, they have to discard four energy to knock out Ultra Necrozma, and if they have four energy in play at all times, that's good for me. And they're just going to Blazer. Please don't tell me they get it. Good. That is a welder, though. Can I use this to my advantage? I can get a Malamar. I don't... Things aren't really going great here. Uh, I do play... Do I play Blacephalon? Let's find out. There's a Malamar. I... Maybe I don't play Blacephalon. That would be unfortunate. Because I remember... No, I think I'm thinking of another Malamar version of the deck I had. So, Psy Power... You can do 100, so... 80. So if I put two on the active and then one on the Zation V, two on the active, one on the Zation V, I think that makes sense. I don't know. I just want to start swinging here. They're, they're just waiting around. Okay. Are they, I mean, they have to fireball circus because I think this was sort of their game plan. They wanted to get rid of, whoa. Okay. I would have been painting that Jirachi if I'd known I'd be sticking around this long. Uh, I mean, maybe I shouldn't do this in case I get a research or something. Uh, maybe, maybe that Ultra Necrozma should stay there. So, this Giratina can hit the, the Denny. can also ping that, so I think I just do three there. You know, I, I think they just didn't have a great hand, but... Maybe they just didn't have a fire energy or something. That would be so weird. But I can still win this. There's a reason that I'm keeping this in the video and that I'm keeping that I haven't just conceded and moved on. You know, it's a little bit boring, but I can still win this one. It's it's not highly likely, but I can. Um, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should have been putting the damage counters on this Blacephalon, and then the Jirachi, and then Sky Scorching Light, these two, for game after I knock out that and that. But there's just... I haven't been drawing well, and for that to even be a remote possibility, I would have to draw well. And I'm just... I'm just going for it at this point. I need some things to happen. Not a research, that's good. Okay. Some things happening now would be great. There's not what I needed. 
So the Malamar is going to come down. So I can start doing some things next turn. Uh, so I should just retreat into the Jirachi. Stellar Wish. There's Marnie and Beastite. Unfortunately, I'm doing a research next turn. Okay, so if I if I attach the estate board here, and then Great Catcher, I would be in a position where I have to Great Catcher away my energy. So I think I just hold off. And I think I ping the Oracorio and the Jirachi now. And just attach the energy just this way. I have an energy in play, or is this a bad idea? Because if I... No, I think that's a bad idea, actually. Popping the Giratina might have been a little premature, but my reasoning here is that... Okay, there's Heat Factory, that's fine. I want to Great Catcher the Orcorio, research the energy into the discard, and then that way I have a guaranteed energy in the discard. That's sort of my thinking. And yeah, go ahead, fill fill up your hand with energy. I got that reset stamp. As long as I don't top deck a reset stamp, things are great. Uh, so they have six energy in play. That is not what a Blacephalon deck wants. They do not want six energy in play. Okay, everything is everything's going to work out perfectly. Nothing is going to go wrong. Everything is perfect. So is there anyone I don't need the rest of the way? I don't think so. So I'm going to Great Catcher, the Research, and the Psychic Energy. I'm going to bring up the Oracorio. It doesn't resist Psychic. I'm going to Quick Ball just in case there's something I want to get rid of. Uh, yeah, I guess a Jirachi would make sense to get rid of because I don't need any more. I'm going to Research. And do I have, yes, exactly what I wanted. Okay, so I'll quick ball. Really wish those were a mysterious treasure, but they're not. And do I want another energy in the discard? Maybe? Um, no, because I, I don't have enough Malamar for that to work, so. There you go, I got just enough. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to hit myself with the Giratina, which might seem odd. Uh, I think I'll just grab Ultra Necrozma. I don't want to show them the Mr. Mime quite yet. Uh, or maybe I do. Um, because then they can't scoop up the Blacephalon. Yeah, this would actually be a really good idea right now because it forces them to hit into this, I guess. I don't know. And there's Viridian, uh, Beastite, Mysterious Treasure. I think the Viridian I just hold on to. I let them draw. I don't care if they draw extra cards next turn. You know, I'm not knocking out the Oracorio because I want them to stop drawing right now. I want them to stop drawing later. So I will Shadow Impact and... And what do they, if they Blazer, they get it regardless. So I think I just put on the Jirachi, but if they play a Mew, then that's a bad idea. So I think I just put on the Malamar. And there's two prizes, that's perfect. Oh, that's really good. And they can't scoop up their Jirachi, so that's gonna be stuck there. Uh, and yeah, the, the Marnie and the Reset Stamp are gonna be very difficult for them to deal with. Because if they, they're probably going to get a ton of energy. They're probably going to Heat Factory 1 energy. Yep, get that. Uh, probably Fire Crystal. The 2 energy back into their hand. Then they have to burn 3 energy. And then I'm going to Marnie them. And then they'll, they won't have Heat Factory and they won't have Oracorio. Yeah, see, everything... I know how to play Blacephalon. I, I, I'm, in, I'm in that headspace. They Heat Factory, then they Crystal, and then they get rid of 3... And then they have three energy in the discard. They're going to get Marnied. What is this going to be? If it's a Jirachi? No. Okay. Okay, so do I... What do I do? 
their welder into another Blacephalon? Okay. This could be really good. Oh, they have nine energy in play. They don't know what's about to happen. Okay, so they got rid of Blis Oh, that's perfect. If they had that Blacephalon GX, they would just use their GX and win. Uh, because they're going to be on one prize after they knocked out my Ultra Necrozma. So if they can't get Ordinary Rod, that's perfect. Uh, so I'm going to bosses the... Probably the Zation. And then hopefully they just don't got it. So I have to get rid of three. The Viridian, I don't know if that's going to be useful to them because they have nine energy in play and three in the discard. So that's 12. Uh, I don't really know how they can recover from this, hopefully. Okay. Oh, the Marnie. I can't use Marnie this turn and bosses in the same turn. That's fine. It's a little annoying, but it's fine. I have three in the discard. I do need a metal though. Oh no, I prized it. Oh no. Oh, why didn't I check first? Oh, and I had the rod coming up. Okay. Um, things are bad. I screwed up. Okay, what do I do? Is there any way forward from here? I, you know, I, pr I might have not, in, I might have not gotten the the rod there off the Jirachi anyway, because I reordered my deck. Okay, what do I do? Do I attack with Ultra Necrozma? With, or do I attack with Giratina? I can hit into the Dedenny. I might not be able to retreat the Dedenny. And then I can Sky Scorching Light. Yeah, I mean, it's not, this isn't where I want to be right now, but. There you go. Really screwed that one up, didn't I? Okay, so Psychic Recharge. Psychic Recharge. Why did I ping the Dedenny? It's going to be in range anyway. Okay, so hit the Dedenny. Uh, do I just put the metal back in right now? Okay, so Shadow Impact. And hit the Malamar. Okay. You know, maybe... You know, maybe the Ultra Necrozma play was the bad play, but this is an Ultra Necrozma and they have an escape board. Okay. Well, they still have to get three energy into their hand. That might not be very easy. And then I Sky Scorching Light, take three prizes, and then... I'm going to take three prizes, and they're not going to have any energy in the discard. They're going to have nine energy on the field. You know, this is how you beat Blacephalon is you let you just keep all their energy on the field and then you force them to have all their crystals and flints and stuff. Um, actually, no, I can just win because what I'll do is I'll Giratina again. They can't scoop anybody up. They'll be on one prize and then I Sky Scorching Light. Okay, so just wait till they get to one prize. No. Yes. Yes. The Blacephalon won't matter. So that's fine. They can put as many Walders in their deck as they want. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to force them to knock out the Giratina one more time. Okay. It's all coming together. This is why I like Malamar. There's very different strategies you can choose here. Okay. So I Distortion Door back into play. I ping that and... Um, is there a situation? No, there's not really a situation where that matters. And so they, the only one they can scoop up is the active. Uh, and they can't even do that because I'm about to knock it out. So... Next barrier Mew, doesn't matter. I just attach. 
Psychic recharge. I think I ditched the scoop up net. Uh, just to get another... No, because if they try and trap somebody... Um, I think now is the time to... Uh, just put the metal energy back in the deck. Uh, might want to put one more in there as well, just to be safe. Okay. Is this a useless card? That is not a useless card. Reset Stamp is a very important card. Uh, I have 15 cards left in my deck. The Reset Stamp I want to save for the following turn. Uh, so maybe I do Marnie this turn. And I Mysterious Treasure, the Marnie. Go get a Malamar. I have a lot of juice left in my deck. I Marnie them this turn. Make that Giratina knockout even tougher. Yes. I think that's the right play. Uh, yeah. As long as I don't knock out the Jirachi. Um, actually, I think just in case... I'm just going to attach to the Mr. Mime, just in case. Things could go sideways, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, there we go. So I think playing carefully was the right move here. Uh, Sky Storch Chainlight just wins me the game, so that's perfect. So Mr. Mime came into play, Ultra Necrozma came into play, Giratina came into play, the Malamars came into play. Uh, pretty much everything except the Beast Ring came into play this game. Uh, yes, and that is why I attached to the Mr. Mime, because things could happen. Uh, yeah, they still need three energy. And there's three energy. Okay, so the only thing that could go wrong here is that I don't get my Ultra Necrozma. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll Jirachi first, and then I'll probably Marnie. Okay. That's interesting. So I'll Jirachi first. I'll stamp them to one. Because there's nine cards in my deck. I mean, it's possible I whiff this Ultra Necrozma, which would be hilarious. So I'm going to draw... F I have two Ultra Necrozma in my deck. I have eight cards left in my deck. And I'm about to draw five. So there's like... A 5% chance I don't get an Ultra Cosmo. Good, okay. And I just had it all. And just because I can, I'm going to show you how much damage I could have done. Uh, with Photon Geyser and all this energy and Beastite. So that would be 50 plus a lot more. And... Sky Scorching Light for game. Boom! And there you go, a victory for the Ultra Cosmo deck. Awesome. And, but I guess Giratina is the MVP. I'll give it to it. And just to double check, Photon Geyser would have done, so it would have been 50 base, 80 base, plus 240, so I would have done 320 damage. The Photon Geyser, right? Because it had the Beast Energy and the Beast State. That was an extra 60. So that puts it at 80 plus 240. So I would have done 320 damage. And it only had 4 energy on it. That's enough to knock out pretty much everything except like Copper Raja and uh, Snorlax. Yeah, I'll go to game 2 and hopefully it is just as fun. Okay, Water Dark. That's an interesting combination. Um, if you're wondering why I play the Beast Ring and Malamar in the same deck, uh, that's just because you don't always get all your Malamar into play, and if you have your two Beast Ring, you can accelerate four energy into play just from your deck, and that can pretty much get you to 300. Uh, yes? It's Water Dark, though. What does that mean? Is that Inteleon or something? I don't know. I'll go first. Why not? I went first last time. Let's see how it goes. And it goes pretty good, apparently. 
So I'll probably ditch the Ultra Necrozma because I have three. I mean, they're probably expecting me when I ditch this Ultra Necrozma, I think, well, that's the only one. No, I'm a crazy person and I play three in a deck. But yeah, the, the Beast Ring just makes sense. It, I played against Dragapult VMAX with this in like one of my first matches, and I wouldn't have won if not for Beast Ring. You know, I, I think I KO'd a Dragapult VMAX on my second turn. You know, they went first. They took a couple knockouts. Oh, that's... Okay, so it's my Lodic. Um, luckily, I play four Switch and two Scoop Up Net, but they probably play Great Catcher or something, so... Um, I still think I should ditch the Ultra Necrozma. Just, again, because I have more. So the Inke and the Mew. So what I want them to do is put four Absol down with that. I don't think that's possible for me to knock out four Absol. Uh, there's a Quick Ball, there's a Research. So I think the Research is the card I want. And I think I'll save the switch, or do I want to switch right now? I think I'll switch right now. Just if I top deck like a scoop up net or something, I don't know. Uh, and there's a quick ball, there's a beast ring, there's a great catcher. Great catcher is probably the most expendable thing. Um, I think I'll just grab a quick ball just in case my top deck is something I don't need. And if not, oh well, I lose a Quick Ball. I have four Quick Ball, four Mysterious Treasure. You know, that is why the deck is just so consistent, because the four Quick Balls get you the four NKs and the Jirachis, and the four Mysterious Treasure get you more NKs, get you Malamar, get you Ultra Necrozma. The It just works really well. I'm going to miss Mysterious Treasure. Okay, so they have Frostmoth. That's interesting. But, you know, Forbidden Light, that's the Forbidden Light symbol. Oh, and they get rid of a bosses. Okay, so they don't play the welder version. That's fine. There's an Absol. I can knock that out if I want. So I think at this point, do I just go get a Giratina? You know, I, I really didn't want this to become a Giratina Malamar deck. I mean, it's not going to because I'm going to have to knock out the Milotic V at some point. Alternatively, I can just ping with Mew, that actually might make more sense because, no, because I, I need to put something in the discard. I'll put Giratina in the discard. Uh, that's a lot of supporters. Okay, what do I got here? I got Beast String Mysterious Treasure. So my switch count is down to two. Okay. So if I put two on the Snom and one on the Absol, that's fine. But I think I just want to Serious Treasure, get the Mew. Uh, maybe they can't do anything and I can get to do it again. Sure, put the Mew, I'll get the Jirachi and put the Mew up front. So I think maybe one, two, one. Because Frostmoth has 90 hit points. So essentially, both of these have 80 hit points. I just need to Giratina ping them twice, and then they're within Sky Scorching Light range. If for some reason they can't retreat the Absol, you know, they would need three energy in that hand. You know, I'm sure they have a supporter or something. Okay, so I don't think it's possible for them to do it. There's a Mew. And the cool thing is, is that Bench Barrier prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. Uh, that was a horrible decision. Sky Scorching Light put six damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. That is very important wording. It is not damage. It is damage counters. Um, yeah, I'm just going to Cynthia. So I have three prizes lined up now. And... The Mr. Mime is definitely going down. Um, I think the Quick Ball doesn't really make sense to use right now. Uh, the Jirachi, how many escape words have I used? Zero. So uh, yeah, that makes sense because they have one Absol in play. 
and then I want to do so if I do two there and then one there, I'm still short a little bit, aren't I? It's one, one, two. So I just need to hear your Tina ping them once and then Sky Storching Light. You know, I was expecting to have matches where I face V maxes and I just take huge knockouts with the against these V maxes. And then both of these games is probably gonna be Sky Storching Light that wins it for me. Which is kind of hilarious. Okay, so Giratina is coming out. And then, so I just hit the Absol and the Mew. So this way they can't, they can't scoop up anyone. That's why the Mr. Mime is so important right now. Scoop up net did some good things. Scoop up net also did some bad things. Um, so I think I, do I quick ball? I need to get a, yeah, I think I quick ball. And yeah, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to Cynthia and then Cynthia and I need an escape board and a Malamar. Okay. Well, I'm going to get the escape board just through, just naturally through the, oh, this was a mistake. So I'm going to need to put the metal on the Giratina. That was a bit of a mistake on my part, but even when you misplay with this deck, you don't get punished, right? Oh, there's a switch. Okay, so I'll use the switch. I'll hit the Milotic V, and it might be a Sky Scorching Light for all the prizes, but unfortunately it doesn't quite work like that. Uh, with Sky Scorching Light, you have to have, there has to be six, basically I have to be on three, they have to be on three, there has to be six prizes remaining, and that's not where we're at. Uh, and I'm just going to put the damage on the Giratina last game I put on the Malamar, but with the way the math works out, Giratina's a chunky boy, my Lord V just easily knocks it out, so there's no point saving it or anything. And I think I'll try and accelerate the game a little bit. There's a quick ball. Um, there's another Milotic V. I might just try and accelerate the game and just put in a Crossman into play and see what happens. Of course, I will need some things to work out after this Marnie. Uh, so there you go. There's Malamar, perfect. So let's see what happens with the Marnie. And a lot of good things happened with the Marnie. Uh, except the thing I need, which is a quick ball. There you go. Okay, so the Beast Bringer, unfortunately, didn't really come into play here. Uh, the escape board. I will need a metal energy right now though. And hey, it's not prized. Cool. So I guess I just get rid of the Marnie in case I need the switch because... Yeah, because I can retreat this. And the unfortunate thing with Photon Geyser is you have to discard all the basic uh, psychic energy you don't get to choose, so you have to get rid of all of it. So that's why I held the switch, because I'm going to have to switch this back. Uh, I think that's enough, but whatever. Doesn't doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm going to retreat the Jirachi. I have to get rid of an energy, and then I'll psychic recharge the energy back onto it. And this way, even if they do something where they put another outsole down, I mean, that's totally fine. Because... Right now the game has accelerated. If they take one more prize, I'm sorry, if they take two prizes, if they knock out the Ultra Necrozm GX, they activate Sky Scorching Light and I take three prizes. But what'll happen is I will get, hit, hit, them, hit them with Giratina. So they'll have the Milotic V, I'll hit them with Giratina. And, oh no, that won't put them in range. Okay, so that would be bad. Uh, mm -hmm. And I don't even think they have a knockout? Okay, they need the Absol, and now they have a knockout. So I need to get boss's orders off this, for sure. Um, okay, so this could go downhill. So I for sure need boss's orders here. And there's Galar Mine. Well, that's, that's really unfortunate. But as long as I get boss's orders, I can do some things. 
but things have definitely um i mean how did they they got everything off that one supporter okay well i mean that wouldn't have mattered anyway uh I'm gonna have to rely on scoop up net and switch anyway. So doing 310. Okay, things are bad. I don't play Naya Lego, so that's not great either. Oh, the beast energy. That'll that that's interesting. Okay, so I need something. Quick ball bosses. What's the smart play? If I Giratina and hit the Absol. I have two avenues. I can quick ball. No, I can't. I don't have. Oh, I need the ordinary rod. Oh no. I need the ordinary rod or I need to get. Okay. Um, I wouldn't feel good. Oh man. Okay. Um, I was just one prize away from sealing this up. Okay. Um, Psychic recharge. Which is smarter, the scoop up net or the switch? Does it matter? Okay, so this prize has to be something good. Scoop up net or switch? Which is more important? Um, so if I if I knock that out, if I knock that out, that doesn't help me. So this I have to hit into this. But scoop up or switch, is there a difference? I need to know that right now. Is there a difference between scoop up net and switch in this point in the game? Scoop up net. I don't think so. I think scoop up net makes more sense. Okay, so I need I need an ordinary rod or an ultra necrozma. That that's it. it. Has to be ultra necrozma or ordinary. Oh no. Okay. So what's my switch count? I have, I'm down four switches. I'm down a scoop up net. So I can't put this Jirachi down and have it do anything. So the only way I win is if the Jirachi gets me. Oh man, I need, I need so much off this. Prizing that Ultra Necrozma hurts so much. Okay. This needs to be a supporter or a mysterious treasure. And that is game. How did that work? How did that work out? Oh man, that was a nail biter. Give him the well played. Okay, so I have to shuffle up to two Pokemon. Just put the Ultra and Cosmo back. Just don't do anything fancy. It all worked out in the end. The games ended the exact same way. You know, they probably think the Mew's gonna protect them. Unfortunately, I mean, unless there's a glitch with the game right now, it's not. Okay, and Sky Storching Light. One of my favorite attacks. Well, you didn't see Photon Geyser come into play, but, you know, I could have easily knocked out of my loaded B. And Giratina is the MVP again, but Ultra Necrozma is a great card, especially with VMAXs in play now. It can knock out a VMAX, it can use Beast Ring, it can use Malamar, it can use Death Scorching Light, it can use Giratina and Mew and Mr. Mime. It's a very good deck. Malamar is awesome. I'm going to miss it when it rotates. I'm going to miss Ultra and Crosma when it rotates. I'm going to miss Spell Tag when it rotates. There's a, there's a lot of Malamar pieces in Forbidden Light that I like, but outside of that, there's not a ton. You know, Malamar is probably my favorite card from Forbidden Light. Uh, and that's leaving very soon, but I'll leave the list in the description and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time